Hi, this is Paul Salt, and we're continuing the demo with the login screen. And now I want to take your attention to the status bar along the top of our app here. So we'll notice that it is black. And if we want to control if it's black or white, when we have our app up, we will need to write some code and set a custom setting in our project setting. So let's jump over to Xcode. I'll click on our project navigator, and then we can click on the project, which is this top row here. Once we have this selected, we're going to look at our target here. If you don't see our targets here, press this little arrow. And with this open, we can now look at some project settings that will allow us to work on the status bar. So right here, we have some options for changing the color of the status bar. And it's confusing because these names actually don't match up with what they do right now with iOS 7. So this black translucent and the other option here, both will create a white status bar on start. So you notice that when this started, it was very quick. It starts white and goes black as the app starts. So this is the default behavior right now um, with the app. It's using some, some settings and we're going to have to change another value in our info tab to really control this. So when I hover over one of these rows here, you will see a plus and minus up here. And if I press the plus, or what I can do is I can add a row by right clicking and doing add a row. This will create a new row. And here you want to use uppercase letters to start. It will give you some autocomplete. If you don't, you won't see any of the options. So I'm going to type view controller base status bar appearance. And then when we select this one down here, that will insert this new row. And so there's a default option for no. So if I click off of it and click back on, it will set it to no. And I believe that's what we are seeing happen right now. And actually, no, it's different. All right. So now if we do, we switch this to yes. So th this part can be a little bit frustrating when you don't know what's going on. Now it's behaving the same exact way. So it's preferring the so I guess it defaults to yes, and we potentially don't need to set the setting anymore with the Xcode 5.1 when we're targeting iOS 7. If you want the old style appearance where it doesn't automatically change and it isn't based on your view controller, you can do no. And so this is actually going to keep our, our default color rather than reverting it. But we're going to go with the yes option. And this is just to show you how this can be controlled. So with that option set, this allows us to describe our view controller's status bar in code. And this is something you have to do for every view in your application with this enabled. And what you want to do is type the dash mark here, and then we are going to start typing something that starts with a P and it's prefer. So I'll just start writing this. Now there's two methods we want here. And I'll explain why we want both of them. So we can have a preferred status bar style and we can have a preferred status bar hidden. Now, the first thing we're gonna look at is the preferred status bar style. So if we select this one, this will allow us to return what style we want. Now in code, we actually see something that makes sense to us. So if I do UI status bar, and I'm gonna basically start out, if you notice here, I'm gonna start typing what this value is and it should give me some suggestions for what we can do for the status bar style. Now, you can see that the black opaque and the black translucent are deprecated. So that's why they have an arrow through them. And what we want is the light content. So if I select this one and we stop and we rerun, we'll see that our status bar is white and it stays white now. So if I go back to our project settings, we can see that if I switch it back to default, we may or may not. Okay, now it is staying white. But if I had the other option in our info tab, so this is where it can get confusing if you have an older application. If I have the option in here for view controller based appearance, and let's say you were updating from an iOS 6 app and you tried to run this, it would behave differently. So it's not doing what you expect. All right, so we want to make sure that this is yes. And now that is the default option in Xcode. So we probably don't need to set that directly anymore. And here, the other thing we can do is we can hide during the launch. So if I want to start with the 
Let's see what happens. Will it stay white? Okay, so it is staying white. Um, just to be safe, I might put on black translucent because that did default before to the, the white thing. And, and then we also have an option here to hide during application launch. So if I stop and start, we can make it so that our status bar does not appear. And you can see that it is appearing right now. So what we're going to want to do here is go back to code. Type dash and then start typing prefer. And here we have a status bar hidden. And I can specify that I always want it to be hidden. So now we have no status bar. Even though I'm specifying the, the style in code, we're telling it we don't want a status bar. If I say no and I rerun, we will see the status bar appears. So those are some ways that we can control the status bar in our applications. It is a little bit confusing ever since the, the iPhone made the transition from iPhone iOS 6 to iOS 7. So this behaves a little bit differently. And if I rerun, we can see that the status bar appears. And if I do this checkbox, I don't know if it's going to behave any differently. It looks like it's, it's doing what it should do. So maybe we want to stay on, on default. And if you need to hide it, I think we want to do it in code because that's going to override whatever setting you set here. Though I've noticed sometimes in some of my apps, and maybe it's my older apps, that I have to hide it here and I also have to hide it in code if I don't want that to appear. So I have to say the first status bar hidden is yes. So this method needs to return yes in whatever view controller you're starting. So since our storyboard, this is our view controller. This is connected to this code file. That's where we're going to put this code. So whatever view controller you want to control, you need to make sure that there's a code file associated with it that you can modify these attributes. And now we have no status bar and it is preferred hidden. So we're good to go. If I want that back because I want the light content, then I just say no and we get our status bar back. All right, so in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to control our, our rotation. So right now the app is really going bonkers when we rotate, which was fine for demoing to make sure that the auto layout worked, but I really don't want this to rotate because there's not enough vertical space to show both our image and all the necessary fields along the bottom.